in the first place. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, in my role as the United Nations High Representative for the Alliance of Civilizations, I have been promoting the implementation of national strategies for cross-cultural dialogue, helping to connect government policies with civil society initiatives aimed at reconciling divided communities. The Alliance also acknowledges the constructive role that religious communities can play in mediation and conflict resolution. To support this process, the Forum of the Alliance, held in Madrid last January, brought together religious leaders from across the world to identify and commit to strategies that support peace building in their communities. In order to help create the social conditions that foster tolerance and understanding, the Alliance also generates practical projects that promote cooperation among diverse cultural and religious communities. For instance, in January, it supported the launch of Silatec, a major youth employment initiative in the Arab world, supported by an international partnership that transcends cultural and religious divides. These projects will help the process of job creation and enterprise, connecting first-time job seekers to networks of employers and providing them with training and resources to build their skills and access capital. Addressing prejudice and stereotypes that increase polarization among, e among cultures is equally and vitally important. To this end, an Alliance of Civilizations Media Fund was created earlier this year with the support of major Hollywood companies to finance mainstream productions that challenge negative portrayals of minorities. With a view to promoting informed debates on sensitive international issues in the media, the Alliance has also developed an online resource of global experts who can provide analysis and commentary to journalists in times of intercultural crisis. The strategy of the Alliance of Civilizations is to work on all these fronts with all partners as it recognizes the importance of facilitating dialogue in a variety of ways. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, as you know quite well, these are, of course, all long-term efforts. They will not bear fruit overnight, but their importance should not be underestimated. As much as mediation and hard-edged political negotiations, they are essential, essential to build conditions for sustainable development and lasting peace. To achieve these goals, we should stand united in our common endeavors in contributing to make the world a better place to live in. Thank you very much for your attention.